What's up guys? My name is Whitney and today we're going to do another little segment on hacking culture, hacking media, and getting to the bottom of things. Roll tape. You know if I say something I mean it. These things happen. Yeah. If I ever said I'm never scared. Today we're going to be talking about one of the newest welcome members to the Billion Dollar Club. Or almost welcome member. She's a 900 millionaire. That is Kylie Jenner. What am I referring to if you haven't been online? Forbes dropped a cover for their July-August issue of the self-made women. That's their topic of, of the month. The internet has already done a great job of ripping this cover to shreds. I don't want to spend more time belaboring a point that everyone is already civically doing their duty to hop online and destroy Forbes magazine for using that word incorrectly. So what I am going to do though is I am going to show you why they did this intentionally. What you'll notice about any publication company is that they have certain things in mind, okay? Forbes has two things in mind that they care about. First is readership, second is ratings. They don't care about some sort of altruistic ethic and morality out there that no one is in agreement on. More down to the clicks, click through on their website, the sponsored posts that they get for the clicks, the traffic that they're experiencing on all their digital touch points. Click bait, hoo ha ha. Hmm, I wonder if I can make that a thing. Let's see. From this moment on, you will now be known as shark bait. Shark bait, hoo ha ha. Click bait. Anyways, if you did your research, we knew coming into this for the month of July and August that Forbes was going to put out a piece on self-made women. What you need to understand is they probably knew they were going to need to slate something relatively provocative after coming off of two months of some very riveting topics. Let me jump back to May where they talked about small giants, best small companies, financial advisors, tech disruptors, and manufacturing the future. Fast forward a month, they went with most innovative companies, the new promised land, ag tech revolution, mutual funds, and ETFs. Riveting. Again, Forbes is a company to get their ratings back up in the middle of the year. This is a crucial time for any company. Halfway through the, the fiscal year, you need a spike and deliver on some good numbers. So it was about time for Forbes to tap into their core audience again, and their core audience is these gurus who love the 30 under 30 version of Forbes. That's kind of part of their strategy, sustaining the business, and then drop in one of those pieces that is gonna really bend the ear of the 30 under 30 crowd. Yeah, slap Kylie Jenner on the cover, call her self-made, compare her to Donald Trump, and you got it. That's a trifecta right there. And also let's, in the backdrop, hit on the social agenda of feminism in its entirety, and elevating women in the business world. The simple playbook here really is they looked at their, their calendar over the course of a year. It's all really smart and mission accomplished for Forbes. You did a great job to get click-throughs and to get readership and to provoke and to compel an audience, stir yourself up in the media pot and frenzy. Love or hate the word self-made being paired with Kylie Jenner. My job isn't to sit here and throw shade and poke holes at the very clear and obvious fact that Kylie Jenner is not a self-made billionaire by any stretch of the imagination. That's just a peek behind the media curtain. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I was just informed that the sheet drop off of a door is not relevant if you don't have a dog. Scratch that. I kind of like the metaphor though. Are we not the lost and confused dogs looking for the truth when the media throws up a curtain of lies? <sighs> Someone pour me a drink. This is the playbook of media. Put something provocative out there, have a lot of people click on it, re-insure more advertising and sponsorship partners based on your ratings, and continue the cycle. Just know that they're not stupid enough to put her on the cover as a self-made billionaire. They're actually smart enough to do that. You read something about it this week and ushered yourself to go read on it further. They did their job. That's what they're supposed to do. They're supposed to get you to pay attention. They're supposed to get you to read. And it's likely that they will have a return on the investment. They know where the red buttons are. They know where the triggers are. So this is again where the media will manipulate language to get you to respond. So keep it locked here. We're gonna keep hacking media. We're gonna keep hacking culture. 
t-shirt. As always, thanks for tuning in. Hit the like button below. Hit the subscribe button below. Leave a comment if you hate what I'm saying. Leave a comment if you love what I'm saying. Or don't leave a comment at all. That's really up to you. This is a free country as of now. Clickbait. Hoo -ha -ha. Clickbait. Hoo -ha -ha. Oh, no, no, don't you understand that I've been going around this world. Oh, oh, oh. Don't you understand that?